since last time, Tax Stone was found guilty, mm -hmm. right? He's facing up to 25 years at this point. And I remember I talked to his lawyer about the situation and he basically said, look, Troy, I've taken the case. You know, the jury was, you know, split about that. Um, you know, there weren't really a lot of witnesses. There's no clear camera footage. But what ultimately happened, because he talked to one of the jurors, was that Tax had a phone in prison, well, in jail, in Rikers. And I guess they managed to intercept some of his text messages. And some of the text messages talked about the actual shooting with him actually tex texting about it. And he basically said that's really what got him at the end of the day, is him getting too comfortable with the phone while in jail well, and we, talking well, about things he should have Well, you know, if you got a phone about. in jail, that phone is probably tapped or whatever, or that could... That's a smart way for the feds or anybody to intercept anybody. Yeah, they'll just let you keep you the phone. Know, yeah, yeah. They, they, they'll they'll tell the guards like, not to search your room. Like, we, let's not act like the feds ain't super ill with, with the shit they got. You know what I mean? And it's like, right now, you just got to be humble, stay out the way, get your money, and, and be legal about it, bro. Did you have phones when you were locked up? Nah, I, I was locked up 203, 204. We was just lucky we got Chinese food and... <laughs> Jamaican food and shit like that. So, so nobody was smuggling in phones or nothing else um, like that? At that time, it wasn't really about that. Like, now you fast forward to this time, it's all about the phone. Huh. Like, a CEO could probably sell that phone for a couple of thousand, maybe. But back then, like, you gotta remember, it was 202, 203. It wasn't really about the phone. As long as you get weed and some good food once in a while, you're good on the island. Well, they had cell yeah. phones back then. They didn't have, yeah, but you know. You ain't see them like that, though, like how you see now. Like, every motherfucker in they sell might have a phone. Now, but you, that phone could be hot, though. Like you said, that phone could be. It could be the hot. Feds, they have the feds could have sent that phone. Oh yeah. Now listen, they have something called stingrays out there that'll literally uh, track all the the digital packets that are going in and out of that jail. Because I know if I'm locked up for something, I wouldn't trust no phone saying nothing about my case. Because yeah. that's the one thing when you go to prison, everybody know a jail um, that you never talk about your case to nobody. Huh. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers be getting wired or anything. That, that's like rule number one. As long as I ain't telling on nobody, you don't need to see my paperwork. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you never tell nobody about your case. That's rule number one. Because motherfucker could use, implicate you to get himself out of trouble. Because mm -hmm. everybody who's in prison or jail don't want to be there. Oh, you yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. And if you could snitch on someone that you don't even know, really. Yeah. You know, that's not connected with anyone back home. Yeah, man. A lot of people just go for it. That's why I free everybody. Free CB, free Dead Eye, free Casanova, free all the rappers locked up, man. It, the list goes on and on and on. Free yeah. Chef G, you know what I mean? Sleepy I Hollow. Sleep, sleep, nah, Sleepy out. He on that oh, big, Sleepy's out. He's okay. on that He on that big bed. Free, free K-Flock. I don't want to give you too much information. Free K-Flock. Yeah. You know, I know he on the island. And, you know, The Rock is, come on, man. That's like, that's top... That's in the top five of the toughest jails ever. Well, was that the Rikers. worst place you've ever been in? Rikers Island? Yeah. Hell yeah. Out of all the places you've been in life. Man, Rikers, man. Rikers is an experience, bro. Because it's like you got the toughest killers from New York in there. You got, you know, from Bronx, Queens, Harlem, Brooklyn. You got every barrel in there, man. It's like, bro, you never know what the day like going to be like on the island. That's my experience. Like, you know, you be in your dorm and you hear niggas rumbling. Just picture you being in your dorm and you hear niggas rumbling upstairs, the ceiling shaking. Boo hoo! What's that? Yo, niggas, yeah, niggas rumbling up there. Motherfuckers getting cut right in front of your face. You see people cut in front of you? Yeah. How, how badly? Like, I seen like a buck fifty right in front of you. I seen a motherfucker get chopped and, 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 and the um, riot police is right there and they strip everybody naked in the hallway. Oh, like everyone they, gets stripped naked to see what other knives. Be, they happen huh. to be there. They, you know, they run in the houses sometimes. Just, here and there, you just never know when they're gonna run in there. You know, and a motherfucker got cut. It was over cigarettes too, because well, I was on Rikers when the last week of cigarettes was over. So if you owed a motherfucker for cigarettes, it's you over. Oh wait, so they stopped allowing cigarettes in Rikers? Yeah, that was like two, two, 2003, 2004. So everyone was starting to lose their mind because no one could get their little yeah. fix, so, their little nicotine but, but, fix. But some people monopolized because some people bought mad cartons and they sold them for double the price. Ah. So, you know, jail is big business. Guys are fucking geniuses in jail. It might sound crazy to you, but a lot of guys get creative in jail. Yeah. Some of these guys could fucking, could bake a cake off a fucking hot pot. <laughs> could fucking, 
carve fucking, make fucking Valentine's Day shit out of soap so people get creative. It was one of the most creative places, creative things. And it wasn't, I'm not going to say it was a good experience because I hate jail. But, and you know, I free, I, help, I don't want nobody to be in jail. I wouldn't pray that on my enemy, but um, people get creative there. 